Okay, so here's an instruction on how we get cut, metal cut. So let's go to some explanation here. We've got pivot plates and other tubing and other flat plates that we need to cut out to build tractors and other objects of the Global Village construction set. So we go to the CNC metal cutting wiki page and talk about sample cuts. So sample cuts, uh, you, do f you take them from DXF files, which are two-dimensional files that are generated from 3D CAD, which are done in SketchUp. So an example of, of this tubing is interesting. While we can cut anything from flats, the tubing is three-dimensional, so we need to make special prov provisions for that. What we need to do is give the, the fabricator a two-dimensional file of the tubing, and here's how it goes. So if a, tube, a piece of tubing, here's your tube, Oh, wow. nice tube here. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's try that again. Tube. It's got the top edge of the tube. And there are holes every four inches. Now, in order for the fabricator to be able to cut this out with a CNC plasma cutter or a laser, they're going to have to do one of the four sides separately. And the file that's used for the people that you give the file to is going to be just the holes themselves since the tubing already is cut you know it's already cut on the edges so you don't draw the the edges of the tubing in the file itself just no none of that just go to just the holes there you go now if you want to cut the tubing to size depending on what stock length you have like 10 or 20 feet you might want to draw breakers between the holes make them like three and a half inches but basically these breakers will cut the metal tubing if you want to cut it to size to a certain length of whatever in your file so here's the length three holes that makes it a 12 inch piece of tubing but we can include only the holes and the breakers for the cut files of actual tubing that's it